Hello, y'all. Welcome to my channel. My name's Erin and I am officially now, the graduation was a little over a week and a half ago, I'm senior at the US Coast Guard Academy and I make videos to share about my experiences and just be a light to the world. If you clicked on this video, you already know that we are talking about Swab Summer today. I already made a video about this with a few of my friends a while back. We kind of reacted to a Swab Summer video from the class of 2024 and talked through it. And I gathered some advice for you from the class of 24 and some of my friends. But today we're going to sit down and just talk about a few other things I think are beneficial to know and things that I would have really appreciated knowing being about a month away from the start of Swab Summer for the class of 2025. So depending on when you graduate from high school, you are going to have a quick turnaround right into our day, the first day of Swab Summer. Today we're going to talk about packing, tips for homesickness, things that'll get you through Swab Summer, just all of the things. Thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now that I'm in my uh, last year at the academy officially, I feel like I have a few different perspectives and have some insight to share. It would be really easy for me to get on here and tell you, oh, Swab Summer, no big deal. You got this. Because as a cadre, when you're leading Swab Summer, it's really easy to forget what it was like when you went through it. But I want to be real with you because Swab Summer is it is a challenge and it's supposed to be hard and it's not necessarily super enjoyable to stand against a wall all day and sweat buckets, but there are some really good parts that I think you're going to enjoy and so yeah, let's go ahead and get on into the advice. We're going to start with packing and just a few recommendations that I have and things that will make things a little bit easier for you. To start, stop stressing. Right now, I'm going to tell you, don't stress. I remember very vividly that my parents Facebook page that they had for new Coast Guard Academy parents was like blowing up about packing like the perfect white socks and all these different things and oh my gosh like can I have white sports bras and black sports bras or just one like to start stop stressing they give you a packing list and as long as you have everything on that list, really, it's as simple as that. You'll make it through. Pack what they tell you to pack, and if there's something that you absolutely cannot live without that's not on the packing list, then honestly, just bring it, because the worst that can happen is they tell you you can't have it, and they'll store it in a safe room for you for the summer, so. For some more specific recommendations, for things like underwear and bras and those sort of things, if you have the option to pack white or black or tan or whatever options you have for colors, I would recommend to get a majority of black because you're gonna sweat a lot during Swab Summer and you're really gross most of the time and for most everything that you do, like you can get by with like a black sports bra, like maybe bring one white in case for some reason you need a white one, but bring a majority black so that they don't get as nasty. For toiletries, I, <laughs> I actually have a funny story with this one. I actually didn't bring like a big bottle of shampoo and conditioner. I tried to find three in one so that my showers could be as fast as possible because during swab summer like everything you do has to be fast but showers especially they timed us and so I found some three in one soap and it actually happened to say men on it like my it was like men's I don't know if it was suave or what brand it was but it was men's three in one soap and I actually got like a bunch of little bottles of it instead of one big bottle so that I could just literally throw my one bottle of three-in-one in my bathrobe pocket and just run to the bathroom. And on those little bottles of my men's soap, I took a silver Sharpie and where it said men in silver, I put an A in front of the men and I called it my amen soap and every time i was in the shower i was like you know what this is my amen soap like thank you lord like i said a little prayer funny story me and my mom had quite the laugh about that when i was doing that before swab summer so anyway i'd recommend three in one and i would recommend just a couple small little bottles because it just makes things easier and you can get nice stuff as soon as swab summer is over i promise you when you're packing i would recommend to 
put everything in Ziploc bags. When you throw your bag in your room when you first get there, you have to unpack everything really quickly and it can get kind of crazy. And so if you would just have like all your socks in a freezer Ziploc bag and all your underwear in a freezer Ziploc bag, you can just like unpack it, give them your civilian backpack and then put it all away later. But for me, that made things easier. Now I want to talk about getting letters from home and getting packages from home. This is something that definitely got me through swap summer and it made a huge difference. So the first tip is that if you're going to have a graduation party or a going away party or anything like that, I just had a little stack of envelopes that were pre-addressed. So all they had to do was write me a note and put it in. And my mom actually pre-stamped them all. And so all, literally all they had to do was put a note in and put it in the mailbox. So I love to receive those and it just made it easier for people to send me notes of encouragement because you're doing half the work for them. As far as packages go, my parents were really nice and were able to send me like one box a week. If you ever get anything in a box that you're not supposed to have, don't worry about it because all you have to do is just tell the cadre, they'll take it from you and they'll put it in a safe room so you can get it at the end of the summer. Don't stress too much, we understand parents. So just be thankful for what they send you. And honestly too, just keep everything in the boxes that they come in and use the tape that you get issued to close them up after you get what you need out. I really enjoyed getting snacks in my boxes, both some healthy granola bars, but also just the treats that my parents knew that I liked. So I had something fun to eat when I went to either Vespers or had a training, I would just throw it in my backpack and it was just, it was some joy, you know? Also, during swap summer, you typically have to move rooms every week that you're there. And so to make moving a lot easier, I kept all of the boxes that my parents sent me. And sometimes I would put things that I didn't need or that I needed to move into a different room in those boxes so that I wasn't like trying to haul a bunch of my little items in my arms in the hallway really quickly when we're trying to frantically move rooms. I just had like six boxes stacked up that I moved from one room to the other. And that made things so much easier and I was able to move rooms much faster than everyone else and then I could help them, so. Also when you're moving rooms, I would totally recommend using the one touch method. My dad taught me this when I was a kid when I had to clean my room, but instead of taking things from your closet to your chair, from your chair to the next room's chair, then to the closet, just create a system amongst your company where you all move your closet at the same time. So you can take all of your clothes from one closet and move it to the next closet. And then say after closets, we're all gonna move our drawers so that you can move everything in your drawers from one drawer to the other. And it doesn't have to go to those in-between stages of, oh, it's in my drawer and then it's in my seat bag and then it's in the chair of another room and then it's in the drawer. like. Just move it from where it is supposed to be in one room to where it's supposed to be in the other room and work amongst your company to develop a system that will make things so much faster and you will really impress your cadre. If you don't do that, you're just going to be putting everything in a pile and you're gonna be waiting for everyone else to move their stuff out of their closet before you can put it in there. So think through it, don't stress. It's kind of fun trying to figure all that stuff out during swap summer. Another thing with mail during the summer, if you have a friend who is gonna be busy or has a lot to do during the summer, you could recommend the open when letter idea. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this, but you could have a friend or a sibling write you letters that say like, open when you miss home, open when you having a bad day, open when you're having a great day. So those are fun because you can like choose when to open them and when you need them during swap summer because some days are just gonna be worse than others, I'll tell you that. And it comes and goes, and sometimes you're having a really good time and you might not need that extra boost of encouragement. So that's a fun idea. In one of the boxes that my parents sent me, they sent a little handhold muscle roller, and that was really, really good to have. It helped a lot with soreness. So if parents, if you're looking for something to send your kid during swap summer, there's an idea. Also, right after swap summer, you're allowed to have a few more items obviously than you can during swab summer itself and so I being a planner I like to plan ahead quite intensely so you don't have to do this if you don't want but this is just an idea I before I left kind of piled together some items and some clothes and some things that I couldn't have during swab summer but knew that I would want eventually I piled them together and put them in a certain spot in my room so that when 
swap summer was finally over, I wouldn't have to like try to explain to my parents over the phone exactly what shirt I wanted them to send me. I would already have that stuff laid out so it would alleviate stress from them. So if you want to help your parents out, go ahead and do that and just like I had my my fancy calculator and like some pictures that I knew I'd want to put on my desk and like I said some civilian clothes that I couldn't have at all during the summer but would want for those first few weekends when I could get off base and get to a sponsor family's house so just those kind of items I would recommend setting aside before you leave again to just help your parents out because honestly this time for some parents is it's hard for them to let go and so anything you can do to make the transition easier it's on you to do it. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna talk a bit about your health during swap summer. I'd say it's really important to take care of yourself and to know your body and know when something isn't right, but also know the difference between just being sore and being hurt. Use discernment when deciding whether or not you need to go to the clinic, but also don't try to just tough it out the entire summer because it is in your best interest and you're going to get a lot more out of the training if you go to the clinic when something is hurt or if you're sick and get it fixed right away and get healthy right away so you can rejoin the platoon rather than doing what a lot of people do and just toughing it out and being sick over swab summer and then getting everyone else sick. It will be a miserable time for a lot more people if you don't just take care of yourself initially when the problem arises. Alright, so another thing, if you are looking at this video just so you can get every single detail about Swab Summer and know everything there is to know about it and be super super prepared and not struggle at all, then that is the wrong mindset to have. Swap Summer is meant to challenge you and it's honestly a fun challenge. You're not going to know every detail and you don't need to know every detail and that's honestly part of the beauty of it. You get to go in there having this slight expectation, maybe some tips and tricks, but then you get to figure it out yourself and with your whole platoon. It's a great team building opportunity and it really does just start that process that the academy has of training you to be a awesome leader. One thing that you'll probably hear from your cadre, don't try to do their job, just, just enjoy being a swap. I know a lot of you have asked about like, sea trials and those sort of things, but just, just let it be a fun surprise, let it, challenge you, let it test you, and just take every single day as an opportunity because you really, like, you can't pay for this opportunity. You can't pay to go to Swap Summer. So just know that a lot of your friends who are out there enjoying their summers before they have to go off to college, like, they're never going to get this opportunity. So it's exciting and I'm really excited for you. Also, if you are in the class of 2025, make sure that you come find me. I'm in Foxtrot, so when Swap Summer's all over, come find me, say hi, I would love to get to know you all. To touch on the physical preparation side of Swap Summer, honestly, for most of you, you're probably gonna be in good enough shape for Swap Summer just doing the sports that you do and having the normal workout routine that you do. But if for you, by chance, don't have any workout routine at all, you're definitely gonna wanna move your body, at least, and Definitely recommend doing those basic exercises that you know you're gonna have to do and get tested on. So push-ups, plank, and then running. But here's the deal, if you have the option to either work out twice a day and spend four hours of your time doing that or spend some quality time with your friends and family before you leave, please like pick spending that quality time that you're not gonna have over pushing yourself to the max because Swab Summer is designed to slowly work up and it's going to get you in shape if you're not in shape and it's going to improve your physical performance so don't go into it thinking that you need to be a bodybuilder rock star marathon runner because you really don't and i would much rather have you spend that time again with your family a quality time versus stressing and pushing yourself to a level that you don't need to push yourself to. What I did to prepare for Swab Summer was follow the Academy's seven week Swab Summer preparation plan. I'm pretty sure it's on their website. If you just go to the physical fitness section tab thing, you should be able to find it. If not, let me know in the comments or on Instagram and I can hook you up. But that's the plan that I followed. It was very balanced and I felt very prepared for Swab Summer, but I also improved a lot throughout the seven weeks. All right, so I think the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is homesickness. 
it's something that I struggled with a lot during swab summer and it was probably for me the hardest adjustment about going to the academy in general. I live on the opposite side of the country as the academy and so my parents and my sister and I all flew across together and we went to all the day before our day activities at the academy held. We went to the OCF ice cream social which I would totally recommend if that's a thing this year and we went to the different lunches and my parents got to see inside Chase Hall. So I'd recommend definitely doing that. You can meet some of your platoon mates when you're still a normal person before you actually start swap summer so I'd recommend going to those events and then one of the dinners that I vividly remember with my family was I think actually two nights before the start of swap summer we had just gotten to Connecticut and we went to the Cheesecake Factory and I remember I mean it's a cheesecake factory they have like awesome food and who doesn't love like cheesecake love me some cheesecake but I'm sitting there in this restaurant and all I remember is like looking up at the ceiling like the Cheesecake Factories they always have like these really intricate looking ceilings fun fact but I was sitting there just looking at the at the ceiling because if I looked anywhere else like tears were gonna start rolling down my cheek like I couldn't keep them in and my brain is telling me oh it's fine it's fine it's fine but like my emotions just were kind of all over the place and it had nothing to do with the fact that I was scared about swab summer or worried that I wasn't going to be able to make it through or anything like that. I just was sad um, to be leaving my family and sad to be leaving my high school years behind. They weren't all perfect by any means but there's something to be acknowledged by changing seasons and it's not always easy to leave something that you've known your whole life and go into something new so that was my experience i like i said couldn't look anywhere else besides at the ceiling or else i was going to start crying and saying that final goodbye that final 15 minutes that you have with your family like that's a tough it's a tough 15 minutes but really that's the worst part honestly like for me saying goodbye was the worst part and then the rest of swab summer was better than that because okay you say goodbye and then you're into it and then you're rolling and then you're just off to this crazy experience this crazy cadet experience that just offers so much cool amazing things and sitting here now as a soon-to-be senior i i'm excited for you and, and officers in the fleet have told me the same thing this summer like they're excited for me because i have my whole career ahead of me and i'm excited for all of you because you have your whole cadet experience in front of you and it's it's a really good time it's there are parts of it that are super challenging and I'm not trying to minimize those at all but overall there's so much to be thankful for and again reminder you can't pay for this opportunity. I'm excited for you if you do have any more questions go ahead and let me know in the comments or follow me on Instagram at EJ2K and DM me there. I'm probably more likely to respond in a more personable way if it's on Instagram so go ahead and check that out. I am here in DC at my internship for a few more weeks and then I'm headed off to a cutter so I'm super excited for that and there is lots of exciting videos to be made so like and subscribe hit that notification bell follow me on Instagram and 2025 keep getting excited for swab summer and looking to the Lord for your strength I'll see you all next time